Welcome along then to round 22. We are at Vegas for the penultimate round of this season. In 2024, returning Williams to the front of the grid. And we've done a big step forward. We are now fourth in a strong battle with Mercedes. So, it's getting pretty interesting. It's getting pretty tight. So, finances wise, cost cap, 6 million. 4 million is projected. So, we've got 6 million to play with, with two races to go. Now, my problem is, I want to do this new ATR period, but if we blow anything, are we just going to have to use, basically, used parts? Now, car 2 is okay enough. Car 1 has a gearbox issue, which I'm probably going to have to take a penalty. And his engine's got a brand new one at 92%. ERS is a problem, and so is gearbox, which is only a million for a gearbox and I'm going to do this now we're going to take a new ERS because we're going to use that full we're going to take a new gearbox at a million so that should be the end of our parts now cost cap we've only got 2.6 remaining now do we risk it and do a full ATR period here because surely it is worth doing it is worth always researching. Now, we've done two on most of it. We've got one research done on the rear wing. And I feel like I'm going to do one on the... What are we needing more? Probably want the most covered is the front wing. Everyone else is two. Let's just do the rear wing. What we're going to do is we're going to put absolutely all the hours in. We're going to see how much this costs because we might not have the availability to do this. You can see all of our increases increasing as we do it. Now, we obviously want to balance this out. So, I want to try and get a nice balance here. So, first of all, what does it do? So, taking top speed off, it's putting a bit lower on. So, we can lower the, we can basically lower the top speed a little bit. We know our top speed's pretty good. It's not, it's not bad. So, I, I want to take acceleration as well. So, I'm going to go to there. Now, this is going to make my DRS, DRS effective, but reduce my low speed. And now, we're not the best on DRS, so I'm going to go to there. We're quite, we're about fifth on low speed. Now, I can build that back up now. Take the DRS back. I'm going to leave it in the middle. Medium speed, I'm pretty happy with. And now, I don't want to lose too much DRS. Now, I can lose that acceleration, which I want to keep. And I'm going to lose my dirty air tolerance a little bit. So I'm going to go all the way down to the left. And I'm going to bring just the high speed up a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. Now, have we got the money? We've got 1.4. I'm going to put six engineers on it as well. And now we are up against it. Cost cap is a problem because we've only got 1.2 remaining. Ooh. We're about to break the cost cap. And there we are, look. We've got that email. Watch your cost cap, Azza. Oh, no. So, race weekend in two days. Now, we don't need a big crash. That is... Who's this guy? Oh, no. 300 grand. Is that going to come out the cost cap? I don't think so. Oh, please don't. 1.2 is literally what we've got left. So, qualifying, reach Q3, we should have both drivers. Now, what's this? Both drivers got to be at least in the top 10. I'm going to go top 8. Whoa, that's nervy. Finishing position, we're going to have one driver. I mean, do we go lower here? That goes 220, but if I go down here... I think we go both in the top 10. Double points, no crashing. We'll see, shall we? Should get a nice payout as well shortly. So it's the Vegas. We are going to the strip for our own entertainment. And we were actually pretty good at this last season. So we're going to be hoping to do the same as we get to the Silver Day in Nevada. And we've got qualifying coming up. We'll be back. We're going to have to keep these parts. I mean, they are rough, look. Very rough. Uh, ERS, we've got a new one. We won't use that until qualifying. 
and same with that one so that's okay to actually run and the car parts for this one engine is a problem on car 2 we're going to use our really bad one so car 2 we're going to have to sacrifice a little bit we definitely can't afford engines and parts now when we've only got a million left so we'll install that we'll do practice and we will be right back for qualifying so here we are we are obviously taking a penalty on car 1 which is Albon's which has took the new parts so you'll be glad to know at this stage of the season everybody else tends to take penalties too so it's not the end of the world now poor Cher can really benefit from this if he puts in a solid performance because almost most of the top 10 have got penalties so ideally that would be playing our favor nicely in our battle for Mercedes we've managed parts by swapping them out all the time and we're going to hopefully get across the line nice and easy. We're ahead of Russell, we're ahead of the Ferraris. Very, very decent times to start. It doesn't look like we are going to run at all in Q1 for a second time because our lap time was strong enough to actually take us P2. Fantastic time. And then Albon back in P5. Raw George Russell is out in Q1. And watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the penalties. Perez, Leclerc, Albon obviously takes penalty too. You've got Ocon, Magnussen, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Bottas. So it's Leclerc and Perez that potentially will elevate Theo towards the front. We are now at, and we're going to go use tyres for the run. It is Q2 time. We're going to send them out straight away again. And then we'll come back for that fast, well, not usually fast, is it? The second run where we never seem to make up time, even on brand new tyres. Magnussen's in the middle. Magnussen's gone early then, and we've got a pass for Stappen. OK, Porsche's got the better first sector. And Albon does a 134.6. Porsche six tenths back. Wow, 134.681 for Porsche. And will we have to go again on that time? So we are going to go again, because we've slipped right down the order. And we're going to get these two absolutely flying on it. You can see we're P8, P9, six temps off. This is probably our only laps that we've got to be in improving on. And we've not really got any traffic. It looks like for Stappen's on his outlap. Yes, he is. Hopefully, he doesn't get in the way. DRS and he moves out nicely. And hopefully, that is the end of the traffic. Porsche is probably going to catch him in just a bit more of a difficult place here. But let's see if he does hold him up. Come on, Max. You know by now not to hold people up. We're going to get a nice slipstream, but Albon improves in the first sector, 42.5. Unfortunately, Porsche doesn't, and he is well off the pace. That is a second. Porsche is in trouble in this qualifying session with Perez and Hamilton still to go. But Alex Albon comes round the final corners, and we'll see what sort of lap time he does. Albon goes first. With a 133.9. Porsche now picking up the pace. 28.1. But I don't think it's going to be good enough. He is off the pace. Hamilton and Perez surely going to come past us and knock Porsche out of qualifying. Well, we went early. And he must have got some sort of block. It was an awful first sector by Theo. And he's out. He is out in P13. He had chances... I mean, it does hand Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes the initiative going into the final race. That is very frustrating. But maybe we can get through in the race, score some points still. And now we go again with Alex Albon, who had good pace around this track so far. So disappointing, though, that we didn't get Theo through. We should be getting both cars into Q3, no problem. But obviously... We couldn't. Maybe we need to start doing an extra run. Albon's going to potentially get held up here. We'll see what time he does. 1.34.1. So now we send Mr. Albon. Even though he's got a grid penalty, he's going to go tumbling down the order and start near the back. We still want to just see what sort of time we can put in. And he's about to start now. He's flying lap. I mean, it would be absolutely typical that if we took pole position for the first time, it would be that we have a penalty... And we can't take advantage of it. But down the straight we go, getting a lovely tow from the Mercedes as well. That's going to help us with time. And surely we're going to be on for a good first sector here. As we go through this sector now, it's going to be... Eventually, green. 42-4 for the first sector. It's an improvement, but six temps to find. Checkered flag is out. Can we get Albon... 
some bit of confidence boosting, morale boosting attempt. Well, maybe not, because he's done a 27-9 in the middle sector. We could be. Definitely struggling for points this time round in Vegas. As we cross the line, we do go up to third. Didn't think that was going to happen. And it is going to be P3. Max Verstappen, four attempts off Perez. And it had to be the case that Theo couldn't take advantage of it. But the strip is excited. We're at the Las Vegas United States GP. And it's race day. Luckily, only a five-place penalty for Mr. Albon because of what he took. Now, it's looking like a one-stop race. Don't like that soft tyres, so I am going to go medium to hards. And for share, I am... I mean, he's struggling with his engine, I know. That doesn't like it for me. And I'm going to go onto the hards. And I think the mediums will stretch that out nicely. And I think we run that. So I think we go hard mediums, medium hards for both drivers. Doesn't look like any point in doing softs because it's not just it's gonna to go to a two stop basically if we do that. And let's get this show on the road. Two races to go. This is one of them. And we are fighting for points. But actually, who who the hell is that there? That Williams. Albon still starts sixth. That's interesting. We'll put battle assist on. We'll go on board with Albon. Clear, clear. We don't need to take engines. Don't need any accidents. That is for sure. But at the minute, we're out through into P6, through the first couple of corners. And Porsche is P13. All we've got to do is just navigate it nicely. We know we've got decent speed in this car. And Porsche is just in a little bit of blocking. What tyres has everyone gone? Mediums, softs, and some hards out there. Bit of everything for the cars around. And already, they're going to start getting stretched out through these long, fast straights. And everyone's going to be DRS towing within a second of each other, probably in a lap or two. Hamilton P2, though. That is a problem for us because he is gaining points right now. Russell down in 17th in our battle with Mercedes, which is going to go all the way to the Raya in Abu Dhabi for the curtain closer. But in Vegas so far... We're in P6. Three temps currently off Leclerc. We're just going to still push the tyres and still push a little bit of fuel. But I feel like Alonso has already, well, he had dropped. But no one's really overtaken until DRS comes in. So I'm going to factor that in. Although we have nearly lost a second already. I don't like the thought of that. Let's try and push again. Maybe we just come off the slack in too early. Let's push again. And yeah, we have. Come on. Well, everyone pushes the first couple of laps. So probably we need to stop coming off the pace. Because we are now in danger zone. Probably a little bit of a mistake there. We definitely need to stay within that DRS. Can we close it back up though? We're deploying everything we can at the moment to try and close the gap. It's 1.4. And hopefully, because they're so close, they will just claw back into us. 1.3. Science is literally following us. Right there. DRS opens. Is he going to make a move? No, he's not. And now we've got it down to oh, 1.2. We still need to keep pushing. And I think we are going to just get back into DRS here. Yes, we are. We're going to go back to aggressive now. Standard. Because surely these cars can't keep pushing. DRS should keep us there. Porsche has got 1.9 seconds. We're going to top up. We're going the long run on him. We can go probably slightly aggressive too. Albon, two temps behind Leclerc and he's going to take a move on the Ferrari. What a move by Leclerc and here we go again. It is Vegas, the excitement of Vegas all over again. As we come through to start lap four, let's take a look at Albon's move up the inside. Wow, what a move, Alex. Great, great move. He is up to P4 or P5. And he sets the fastest lap of the race as well, just for good measure. Around the first corner we go. And now we're six temps within Pierre Gasly. Hamilton's got a bit of a break to Perez. Hamilton's running mediums and so is Perez. So we need him to pick the pace up at some point. Porsche's two and a half off the next car. 
Now, that's quite worrying, but he's only three temps ahead of Alpha and Mayo. But we are going long with Porsche. That's the difference. We're actually going to move him back to standard because he's going to be better in the later on in this race. But you can see the train that he's got. Four temps is now Alex Albon to Pierre Gasly. And you can see how close everybody is bunched up. There is a yellow flag. There is a crash. It doesn't look like Porsche. It looks like Bottas. No, it's Stroll in P8. On his teammate, Fernando Alonso, into the corner they go. Oh, they just clip. Both Aston Martins really getting slowed up there. Bit of Stroll, bit of debris. And Porsche now has closed up this car. Oh, they didn't really close up at all, if I'm honest. We've still got a bit of a traffic jam behind us. And that is because we are running the hard tyres. Five temps, Albon to Gasly, staying in that DRS zone very nicely. So this is not too bad. And it's Alonso who takes the five second penalty in that team collision. So not too bad, but here we go. P5, P15, long, long way to go. Still in this race. We've got a lot to do. Albon's in a great position. Cher just overtook Russell. Not sure if Russell's just got him, but it's DRS down the straight. Russell had got us. And we're going to squeak up the inside. Do we get the Alpha Tauri as well? Not quite. But has Russell just pipped us back here? No, he hasn't. We've got past Shou Guan Yu as well at some point on that corner. And we're up to P14. Maybe the hard tyres are just playing a little bit of an advantage now as we move forward. And who's this? This is Porsche on Stroll. Did he take any tyre damage? Uh, not really, so it's just literally the timings, and we're lapping very nicely with Porsche, and we've got Albon sitting within four tenths of Gasly. So it looks like Albon just starting to struggle. He's dropped two seconds to Hamilton, who's in P4. Gasly is really motored on in the Alpine, and he can just saw Leclerc flying past us. Sainz is nine seconds back, though, which is very interesting to see. And Porsche is in his own little DRS train. Which stretches all the way to P8 and Yuki Tsunoda. And these hard tyres are working lovely. Porsche has just got past Zhou Guan Yu again. And he takes Stroll then a couple of corners later. Fantastic. Hard tyres maybe a very good race tyre because Porsche is up to 13th. And if you look at his last lap, so here comes Stroll on the mediums getting better exit. We're lapping okay. We're lapping faster than Albon. We just saw Stroll come back through. But we won't worry ourselves because we are good. Albon's just got Leclerc. I think he's just took the position back there. And he did take the position back. Was it DRS down the straight? It was. And just, just goes up the inside nicely. And that is into P5. Three tenths the gap. And he's coming back at us. DRS makes for a thrilling race down the strip. But we're going to keep ahead, I think. It's going to be a left-hand corner coming up, though, with Leclerc trying to itch away. Can't get it. 3.3 seconds to Hamilton. We've dropped massively. And tyres are slightly worn compared to the rest. So we've got to keep going. Play the long game. We've got to point score more than... Get Porsche in the points. That's key. Porsche is back up past Stroll. He hasn't got... He needs to get within DRS range of Alonso, which I feel like he now has. And he's already got past Stroll again. So these hard tyres are working nice. Leclerc is going at Albon again. Who's got the inside. It goes to the outside. Leclerc's through. So Leclerc moves back ahead. Remember fighting with the Ferraris big time here. Always a great race. Porsche though is still in this train. Lap 19. Verstappen pits. And he's just coming out now. Where's he going to do? He's going to get behind Sainz. And that is an early start. What tyre does he go on to? He goes on to hard. Surely got a pit again in this race. Leclerc three temps behind Albon. And Porsche is still this train. And luckily, we are on the hards. So we just got to look after here. Stay within DRS. Don't cook our tyres too much. And what I might do is just go light. Just to save the tyres based on the current tyre uh, temperature. Now, everybody does pit. Porsche, he's clear. He's got Stroll behind him, which is going to have to come into the pits. So actually, we're probably going to do, I think, one more lap here. We're going to give it everything on Albon. 
because he's in clear air. You've got Soint, six seconds, five seconds. Everyone's got roughly clean air. But we're going to do one more lap with our one now. And it's going to be a good one. That's what we're hoping for. We're going to just a strong lap here. Hopefully we can not make any mistakes. We're going to go this one stop onto the hard tyres. Porsche on the hard tyres started to increase the pace and he's moved up to P8. He's lapping okay. He did a 40.1. It's only two tenths slower than Perez, who's on their mediums. So actually okay. And tell you what, that's not okay when Zhou Guan Yu comes straight past here, who is on used mediums. That's not what we wanted to see. We were just gloating about how strong we were. Verstappen's doing purple sectors on the hards. And we are flying along now with Albon, who's about to be shot on his tyres. Porsche closing back. Still going to extend this out. Still got another 10 laps to do, probably. <clears throat> but you never know. Albon now pits. You can guarantee Leclerc gets out ahead of us. Because we are shocking at pit stops. Oh, there you go. 5.7 seconds standard. And, oh, it's just the way they come out of the pits. I thought he had an incident then, but he is out. We're going to try and close this gap again. So now we're on the back foot to Leclerc already. Porsche is in P6. And remember, we just need to get him in the points. Hamilton's still in P3. And we'll bring these up to temperature like so. And I will just move it back to standard for now, so we'll look after them. We're going to get Porsche in this lap. He is currently P6 for Albon, P7 for Porsche, as Albon just gets ahead of him. And what we need to do is just put him on Don't Fight the Teammate, because Albon's stronger. And we just want to keep, we want to keep with him here as he crumbs in. And that's solid work from Porsche. P7 he pits from. He's going to drop massively down the order. But the, expect a few more pit stops. There's a lot of differential of tyres out there in terms of percentages. So we've got a chance still as we come out ahead of Kevin Magnussen. And now we should be pretty quick and we're going to be pretty nice on them tyres as well. We'll get them up to temperature. Let's deploy everything on this initial outlap while we've got five seconds to rustle. Because if we can deploy and we can gain time then great because he's already knocked nearly a second off and what we'll do is we'll move that back to standard now we'll go to standard we'll keep running the fuel and everything first we are expecting Albon to go to the end on them tyres so that makes it a bit more difficult for the likes of Leclerc and Sainz and Sonoda there's quite a lot of them actually might have to stop again but at the minute P6 we're not outscoring the Mercedes at the moment but Porsche is closing up now he is lapping actually really quick on these medium tires well he looked like he was going really quick until Kevin Magnussen dived up the inside with his medium tires and now out of the exit we go and yeah we're deploying everything and the has just suddenly gets past us very very frustrating especially when you want to get through so you can start closing the gap. We were absolutely closing the gap as well. But we're not going to get a move here. And this is going to affect timings. Are we going to now move to the inside? Round the last corner. Into the first. A nice move up the inside. No. And I don't know how we've lapped a lot slower. I generally don't. We're going to go back on conserve. Because we should be able to tow along nicely. Very strange. But where is... Albon's in P6. It's Albon getting past Leclerc. Albon is flying at the moment. And he's gone through. He's top the inside line. And now he's got Hamilton. This is what we needed. Are people really starting to look after their tyres? I mean, suddenly we've lost a lot more. They obviously are looking after their tyres a lot. Well, I'll tell you what. I want to move past him if I can. Hamilton. We're lapping really well. Porsche is... Look at this. Look what Leclerc... Porsche is stuck behind at the moment. We're going to put him on light because he just can't break that at the moment. I want him to look after his tyres more. Albon has overtook Hamilton. Deployed the ERS. And it is DRS round the outside. Job done. Now we need to break a second. 
Because at the moment, it's only four temps. And we're deploying everything we've got. Porsche is just really unfortunate that he's stuck behind everybody here. Or well, it feels like everybody. Down the straight, here we go again. DRS. It's so hard to get out of DRS on this track. But look at the traction that we get. Porsche is not going to be able to get it. It's just stuck in that DRS. But we're taking it to the big teams again. Six tenths nearly is the gap. As they close up dramatically. Albon using a lot of ERS and fuel here too. Porsche just cannot get past these cars. We need them to run out of tyres a bit and then pick them off. I think that's the plan. And if there's going to be any more pit stops in this race, I don't think there is. Everyone's looking pretty tidy on tyres. Hamilton looking after his. That might actually cause him a bit of issue against us because we're going to come under threat in a battle that we need to beat the Mercedes in to extend the points advantage to the next race. And it's back and forward. Porsche has just took Stroll and that's now at 1.4. So we're going to push with him to try and close that. Albon's just got back ahead of Hamilton. Hamilton did come past, but Albon got the inside line, took it back. And now, entering the last sector, Hamilton's going to really try and fight this. Porsche, we're hoping, can move past the other Mercedes. We'll stick it on balanced. It's a long run. Who's going to be later on the brakes? Not us. Not on the mediums just yet. Leclerc is past Hamilton. Leclerc's past us as well. So Leclerc takes both of us. Porsche is trying to take these cars. We've gone aggressive now. And Porsche does get Russell. Porsche is starting to move forward. But we're a bit stuck. And you can see these cars coming round. About how absolute of a traffic jam this is. Aston Martin's in there as well. Causing us pain. But let's see what we can do. We're still now two temps off Leclerc. Three temps now P5. With Porsche in P15. Is there anything that we can do about this? Porsche is now a tenth behind. He is gaining, but there's a massive 12 second gap to Magnussen Piastri. But we're in P5. We're only a tenth behind. We've nearly dropped Hamilton, and yes, we have now dropped Hamilton. So if we can deploy, we can get out of his DRS. That would help us a little bit and be quite nice, I'll tell you that. We're going to keep deploying. 1.2. A fourth place would be phenomenal at Vegas. Gasly, I can't believe, is running P2. That is incredible, but he's about to be under attack. We are attacking the Ferrari as well. It is going to be inside line for this corner. Is Albon going to move ahead? No, he's not. What about now? Gets another good exit. Takes the outside into the final corner. Is he going to keep hold of this position? No, not quite. It does come back at him, though. It is. A race to the line. Let's get to the finish. Six laps to go. We are going to just bring the fuel down. Albon's got it. Porsche's in a massive battle again. And Porsche around the outside of the Aston Martin on the mediums has got P14. He's got Zhou Guan Yu ahead of him. And I tell you what, he's coming at Zhou Guan Yu here. Three temps. We focus on this a minute. Porsche did get Alonso. We're not going to catch Magnussen. What's Magnussen on? 53%. Well, Magnussen's ahead of us, sorry. We're not going to catch Piastri unless we do really clear these, which is the problem that we can't probably do at this moment in time. But Porsche is going to try. There's cars diving everywhere. Inside line, potentially going to go three cars at it here. We go to the outside. Tyres are hot. Yeah, I know, but get past. And he's past the Haas, or is he? Down the straight they go. Haas got a good top speed out of that car there. And into the first corner. We still can't, and we might get just blocked out here. Or are we going to come back on the inside? We're past the Haas. And now we're coming back at the Alpha Tauri. This is a phenomenal battle. Out the corner we go. Sat right behind the Alpha Tauri. Now we go to the inside. Is it job done? It is job done. 
We are through into... It's P12. P12. What a move. Albon's looking after his tyres, but the gap's still only one-tenth. There's still battles everywhere to be had here as he tops up. To use a bit of fuel. But Porsche is now got the train. And this train could be very hard to defeat. Because it is painful. They're almost in formation attacking us here. Is there anything we can do to hold off? I mean, 14 seconds is the gap to Sainz. Kind of need some sort of crash or something here. To be able to hold these off. But we are on medium tyres. That's a good thing. We have got better tyre management. Question is, can we keep it? Because we've got Leclerc all over us when we're sat P4 at the moment. And we're keeping hold of that. It is a long way to go. Here comes Leclerc again. Down the straight. Pushing Alex Albon all the way. And Hamilton's coming back as well. Hamilton's look after his tyres. And now he wants a bit. Oh, this is exciting. We're going to go attack, though, on Albon. I feel like three laps to go. And here goes the Williams again on the Alpha Tauri, who's coming back at us. And we can survive. We will survive this lap. Back on to neutral. Hamilton gets but Albon. No. Now we're with Lewis Hamilton here. This is so close and such so good racing. It is DRS that takes it and he goes to the outside. Hamilton in our battle with Mercedes takes the edge for now. But we're still only a less than a tenth away. Absolutely pushing as hard as we can. DRS will open down the straight. We are tucked up right behind. We're going to go not to that one. Let's go Visor Cam for this. Oh, look at that. Straight through. Can we get a move? Deploy out. We're going to the right-hand side by the look of it. Still can't get it. Still can't. And now down the straight, we're coming back again. We're getting attacked for Porsche. Albon's attacking as well. We're doing the best we can. We've dropped Leclerc. But Hamilton has simply looked after his tyres a little bit better. And then came at us. Porsche still got four temps. Still four temps. So final lap. Alex Albon, eight temps to Hamilton. We're going to deploy our ERS system. It's not brilliant. And here comes the Alpha Tauri again at us. Annoyingly gets past us, but it's not going to really count for any points. Albon is six temps away. And we've dropped Leclerc, so it's going to be P5 minimum here. Look at this for a battle. He's coming back again round the outside, and we do take it. What a move. But the question is, can we get Lewis Hamilton? I don't think we can. Our tyres are a little bit hotter, a little bit more used. But we are absolutely trying down the straight. We are now within a tenth. It's going to be a race to the line. We're out of ERS. There's not a lot we can do. So we are going to struggle to catch as we come through. We're not that far off the lead. But we do lose some points to Mercedes. It is P4 for Hamilton. Albon comes home just behind in P5. It still is a very good race. Porsche is going to come over in P13 in the end, losing out to Zhou Guan Yu. But more points on the board. Alex is happy with that. Ideally, driving for his seat, because Theo should have the better development, but not so much. Alex Albon up a place. Porsche was down one place in our attempted strategy change. And in the constructors, it's two-point gain. But I think we should be good for P4. Unless Mercedes have a blast in Abu Dhabi and we have an absolute mare. Look at that though. Practice 13th, qualifying 3rd and 5th. That's because of our parts. And obviously Porsche was very much all over the place in his race. 5 million comes in though. So hopefully now we have done all our grades that we need. We've done some refurbishment as well. Round 23. Let's see what we need to take. Well, everything's at high risk. But we do take a suspension. Car build's fine. So we don't need anything more on the cars. 
we're scraping that on taking 14 million into the new season potentially I could probably just upgrade something do I want to spend 10 million I mean we've got one race left as well probably do I'm gonna upgrade that 48 days leave ourselves 4 million and I think that will be very very solid obviously cost cap oh, 1.2 remaining that is literally it as we go to Abu Dhabi for the final round of the second Williams season